In this video we'll be looking at Dropbox, which is a online cloud-based file storage service. Uh, it's very similar to Google Drive. Uh, Google Drive, we all already have accounts because it's part of our Google Apps and it's part of our email um, system. But for Dropbox, we don't have accounts. It does pretty much the same thing as Google Drive, so it's whatever you want to use. I, I use both, to be honest. Um, but there's a link in the description of this video. There's also will be a link uh, wherever this video is posted where you can click it and it will take you to this page where you can sign up for Dropbox. So all you need to do is just put in your, your full name. Okay. And then make a password. Put in your email address and a password. I put in jared.morson at farmcards.org because my jmorso at farmcards.org is already being used for Dropbox. So you can't have multiple accounts on one email. So you just put in your plain old email address. Um, so then make a password. Okay. I agree to the terms and service and create account. Okay, so it's going to create your Dropbox account. That's pretty much all you need to do. The next thing you need to do is run this little program. And what it's going to do is it's going to make a folder on your computer that will sync to all your devices. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's download this file here and install it. And you'll see exactly what how it works. So I've clicked that. I'm going to come down here and say run. It's going to run that program and install the box and, and this thing drops you through it walks you through step by step and exactly what you need to do it's it's very very user intuitive um, and they've done a good job of walking you through the process of getting this all going Okay. so that install is going to pop up and run I'm going to let it do that and then we'll jump right back into the video okay so here we go we're going to install Okay, once the install is done, it's going to say, do you have a Dropbox account? Yeah, we just made one, right? So yes, I already have a Dropbox account. Say next. My email address, is that email address you used when you signed up? It doesn't matter what you use. You can use a personal email address. You can use a school email address. It doesn't matter. Just know you're always going to have to use that email address to sign in from here on out. So I use jared.morrison at farmcards.org. And the password I just set was, oops, oh, typed my password wrong. There we go. So now it's going to link this computer to my Dropbox. I've got two gigabytes for free. That's I'm happy with two gigabytes for free. I don't need to pay nine 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 a month or anything. Else. I'm just going to say next. Typical setup, install. And then it takes me through a tour. So you could walk through this tour step by step, and it explains everything that I'm going to explain. Basically, it's saying we're going to put a desktop, we're going to put a folder called Dropbox, okay, under your user profile. And so you can put files in there. You can also access those files just by going to the website, dropbox.com. It's got a notification area down on the bottom by your clock. Um, and you can share any of these files or folders inside of Dropbox with anybody just uh, send them a link to the file and they've got it. Alright, so that's it. I'm going to open that Dropbox folder and we'll see what's in there. Okay, so all this is now is a folder it's called Dropbox and it's here on my computer. Okay, under if I just open up my little Windows browser right here there's a folder now called Dropbox. Anything I drop into this folder will now be synced to my Dropbox and I can access it from any device. So if I've got music or videos or pictures, so let's get some stuff that we can, so I'm going to put some stuff on my desktop here so we can kind of play. Okay, so I've got some, some files here on my desktop. I like those files. I want to have them available anywhere I'm at. So on my iPad, I want to have them on my computer at home. I want to have them on my phone. So if I want to get those files in the cloud so I can access them from anywhere, all I do is go and I open up my Dropbox and I just drag them and drop them in there. Just drag and drop. So now all those files are on my Dropbox folder. 
meaning that if I go and do the same install on my computer at home, and I go and I click on Dropbox at home, these files will be there. If I go to the website, and I go to dropbox.com, and I sign in, those files will be there. Okay. So there are those files. See how they're already there. They've been uploaded there. So now I can access those from anywhere. So now that you've installed Dropbox on one computer, and this one right here, you're going to want to do this on your other computers that you use, like the one at home. Uh, you can also install the Dropbox app on your Android phone or on your iPhone or iPad. Um, and then all the files that you drop in this folder will be available to all your devices. And that's pretty much what cloud storage is, is all these files are not actually stored on the computers. They're stored up on a server somewhere, and they're just pulled down. And so the, the folders stay synced all the time. No matter what you do on one folder, it syncs it to all your other, other devices. And so um, it's real nice, and it's handy uh, because you don't have to use a thumb drive anymore. You don't have to email files to yourself. You can just use this.